Thank you for watching this here on WSLS.com. I'm Tommy Lopez. We want to explain something here today. We're continuing our look at vehicle safety and what the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety does. It's a group that is operating in Virginia in a town north of Charlottesville. It's looking at vehicle safety, performing a lot of crash tests, spending a lot of money to do so, and that effect puts pressure on automakers to help refine a lot of the safety measures that are keeping us safe and hopefully make cars even safer as the years goes on, go on. This group has been doing this for decades. We want to talk today about 18 wheelers and about a feature that is on these semi trailers that we see so often on Interstate 81 that could help us during crashes, particularly with sedans. I want to show you this here to start. This can be kind of tough to watch. A sedan hitting the back of a tractor trailer, and you can see the metal of the back of that tractor trailer is just going straight through that sedan. And that dummy's, crash test dummy's head is slamming against that thing basically at full speed. Uh, again, it is, it is kind of tough to watch over and over again. But this is an example of that rear guard on that tractor trailer that we're talking about today not working. This is like a worst case scenario. These guards can stop cars from going underneath, under ride as a lot of these experts call it. Uh, when they're not there, these crashes really can be deadly. There's just not enough to stop that car, to slow it down before that metal is going right through that windshield as you can see. So rear guards can be really effective here. Many times they're not on the roads or these guards aren't as good as the top technology is at the moment. We want to explain that too. So here's an example of a rear guard doing its job and working. Here's another crash test at the IIHS. The car bounces off there. Look, this is a crash that could definitely cause some injuries, but as you're noticing, it looks a lot better. That crash dummy's head hits the airbag instead of the metal of the tractor trailer. This is going to be a lot safer. This is a 20 10 Chevrolet Malibu the car is that tractor trailer is a 2018 we're looking at one of the newer rear guards here in this video but many of the older guards don't work as well they're not going to do as much to keep drivers safe we're going to have to wait for a lot of those old guards to get phased out before these new ones can get in so the IIHS is pushing the government to increase its regulations to have more regulations when it comes to these tractor trailer optional features Automakers are making them for these semi-trailers, but a lot of companies that buy the tractor trailers don't want to invest in them. They feel like they don't have to. Some do, some don't. Some buy fleets where some of their tractor trailers have the top rear guards and others don't. As we know, there are a lot of older tractor trailers out on the roads. These companies don't want to spend more money than they have to. So in some respects, we're kind of waiting for some to get phased out or for the federal government to put more regulations on what we're seeing. So we want to show you here a nice side-by-side -side split screen of the difference between these two. On the top here, we have a 2017 rear guard. On the bottom, an older one from 2013. You're going to see the top one is doing much better here. It is going to hit and almost bounce off. And on the bottom, it's just shredding through the front windshield. It's a, a good visual representation of how this is happening. And here are the two crash dummies. And, and yikes, you can see just how rough of an experience it is for that crash dummy in these rear guards that are just not quite the top technology at the moment. There are also side guards. We know that obviously sedans can be hitting tractor trailers from the side too. Here's another crash test we want to show you. Another sedan right into the side. Now this is a, a guard that is effective. This is a successful crash test. This guard is doing its job. It's uh, preventing that car from going underneath the tractor trailer and doing a lot of damage there. Only a small number of 18 wheelers have these side guards. Manufacturers aren't always making semi trailers with them. They're aftermarket products for a lot of companies. So what's the takeaway from all of this? Well, the IIHS is trying to put pressure on automakers to make these uh, more permanent, to make all tractor trailers have them, putting pressure on the federal government to make them regulated. But Experts in this field say that the public can help, actually. Public pressure could mean that we see more of these safeguards on tractor trailers. It could keep everyone driving in sedans safer if these companies feel the pressure in order to have more of these and have the updated ones, the ones that have the best technology and the most engineering that's gone into making them as safe as they can possibly be. Thank you for watching here on WSLS.com.